I gotta say something about this shit, bro. Dwayne Wade, you gone too fucking far, dog. That is a male. A 12 year old. At 12, they don't even know, they don't even know what they next meal gonna be. They don't they don't have shit figured out yet. He might meet a, a, a woman, anything at 16, and fall in love with her. But his dick be gone. How you gonna like, bro, it's, it's, you going too far, dog. Don't cut his dick off, bro. Like, bro, for real. If he gonna be gay, let him be gay. But don't cut his dick off, bro. Like, don't address him as a woman, dog. He's 12 years old. He don't, he's not, he's not up there yet. He, he hasn't made his final decisions yet. Don't cut his fucking dick off, Dwayne Wade, bro. You fucking tripping, dog. You tripping, dog. You tripping, dog. Okay, so y'all just heard that audio clip right there, and that came from um the on uh, Lil Boosie uh Instagram page, and it pretty much has gone viral. It has on his page right now, as it stands, one point two million views and counting, and a lot of people have responded to it. A lot of people, some people agree with it, some people felt indifferent about it. And I have to say that I actually do agree with what he's saying. And I'm glad that finally a lot of people are finally speaking out about this behavior that is just oozing out of that Wade household. Now, when I was scrolling through the comments of uh, the video on his Instagram page, I noticed one comment in particular come from somebody close to D Wade. No, it was not that high priestess, which he's married to, but it came from his son, his other son, Zaire. I'm not sure which son this is. I want to say maybe the oldest son. I'm not sure. And he basically was coming back against Boosie saying we, uh, that we shouldn't talk about this until we have all the facts. And man, did people light his comment up because on Instagram, you can reply to the comments that are being left under a particular comment. I'm, that's one of the features I'm glad they incorporated um, onto the Instagram app. And people was like, OK, Zaire, please let us know what all the facts was. And when I, the last time I saw it, he had like 400 plus replies underneath his uh, post. And not one time in his particular post that he replied to not one of those people. And I think it's because he was responding out of emotion because he himself doesn't even have all the facts. I I wouldn't be surprised if he doesn't know what's really going on. He may be there, but he probably doesn't know what's going on. And if he doesn't know what's going on, then I have to tell Zaire, I don't know if he's going to listen to this. You should not have left that comment because you just left yourself open for people to come at you. For that and the thing is is not in a very like a huge negative way is we know that you're doing it because you want to be supportive but at the same time you opened yourself to be attacked and not in a way where people are telling you to shut up and go somewhere or go sit down somewhere but people are asking you okay explain to us what are the facts that you're saying that we need to wait and hear because based on everything we have seen so far from this family it, it, it is nothing is adding up. Nothing is making sense at all. And I understood what um, Boosie was saying when he saying don't cut his you know what off. A lot of people took it quite literally when he said don't cut his 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 junk off. He wasn't saying it in the literal sense of getting a physical real a body reassignment or realignment or anything like that a lot of people took it that way when what i got gather from it is don't take his manhood away and replace it with something that is completely foreign to him because you have d wade out here calling his son his daughter he's he has now just that fast in the matter of maybe a week went from calling Zion Wade to Zaya and re- and stopped calling him him and he and started replacing it with her and she just like in the just like in the blink of an eye. I'm like that was fast because it's like we just learned that he wants to turn himself from being a stop referring to himself as being a boy into referring to himself to being as a girl or stop to be referring as himself as a he and then referring to himself as a she like and you and, and this happen is happening so fast and i 
and I keep I know I call Gabrielle Union the high priestess witch because if y'all follow me and I posted on the community tab, there was an interview that she did with Sway in the morning back in 2017, where she admitted on air to the the listening audience, whoever was listening or whoever was watching that she tossed D Wade salad. I don't have to go into detail what that means. We pretty much all know what that means. If you don't remember, D Wade did a 30 for 30 uh, for ESPN a few years ago. And he was talking about his family and everything like that. He spent most of his time talking about his mother. If you don't know, his mother used to be a crackhead. She used to be a drug addict. Couldn't really raise him or his sister. And then he went to go stay with his dad because I think his dad got custody. And then in the midst of it, he ended up buying his when his mother got clean, he ended up buying his mother a church and she became a pastor. And I think he got her a house. And I'm like, well, dang, you just you just completely disregarded your dad. You just put him out there like that. And that goes back to that video I just recently did about how you have a lot of athletes that will literally praise their mother, even though their dad was there. And it's like you completely shun your dad. And a lot of, you know, a lot of people left, the you know, uh, gave a, some feedback behind that. And D Wade is a perfect example of that. Like your dad was there for you. He practically helped raise you and your sister out of the position that you were in. And you gave all praise to your mother who couldn't really raise you. And you know why. And then you get with Gabrielle Union, the high priestess witch, who is like a whole decade older than you. So she so it's almost like, are you having a a, a husband wife relationship or a mother son relationship that's you know that's kind of how i um i see it there i'm amazed the relationship still lasts because if y'all remember they had that little break and he ended up getting that other woman pregnant we don't even hear about the other child yeah d wade has another child from another woman that is not gabrielle union when they had that little break and they called and he slipped up and his pullout game was weak and he ended up having what they call a oops baby And I think they said that child's name is Xavier or something like that. But we don't ever hear about that child. We only know about the uh, the children he had with his first wife and the, the baby he had, you know, with the surrogate. But the way that he is exploiting his child, and this is the part that gets me, is a lot of people are upset that people have an opinion about this. But let me tell you all something. D Wade and that high priestess, which he's married to put this out there for the world to consume and it all went back to when gabrielle union the high priestess witch took zion way to that pride parade last year that's when it began okay that is when all of this stuff began to unfold and unravel itself and then you saw the pictures that they took at Thanksgiving, when he had that little top on. No, I take that back. After the proper rage, you had him walking in a fashion show and he's literally switching it up, walking down that runway. Then you had the Thanksgiving picture where he had that little crop top on or whatever it was in the fake nails, the fake fingernails that, you know, like a woman would get. And then you have the most recent what happened with him saying he wants to be referred to as she and her no longer as he and him and not to call him Zion, but to call him Zaya Wade. So you really have to take all of that into consideration. And you had a lot of people, whether they were in the T class, but mostly their deflectors. And I actually wrote this as a post on Twitter. I was saying who is worse when it comes to this? When it comes to the deflection, the people who are in the T class or the people who are T class supporters. And I've had I had a mixed uh, opinion, but most of the people said those who are their supporters are some of the worst deflectors. And I would have to agree because every post that I have seen about this, who was like for what D Wade is doing, they're not a part of the T class. They're either in the Alphabet Academy or they are heterosexual, maybe. 
And they are saying that we need to mind our business. And to them, I say, well, if D Wade did not put it out there and did not exploit his son the way he's doing, we would never know. And that's the part that gets me. It's the fact that he's going on this tour because that's basically what it is. He's hopping from different platforms all over the place, literally talking about how we need to accept his son as his daughter and how he's he's like I said, go and look at a lot of the interview he, he's doing. No longer is D Wade talking about his career as a basketball player or what he's doing now in his retirement or what he's doing with his family. All the conversation that D Wade is having right now, as it stands, is his son that he now refers to as his daughter. The last few interviews he has done has been nothing but that. And it noticed, like I said in my other videos, he has only been doing interviews by himself. Zion Wade is never there. The high priestess, which he married, is never there. It's just him. I'm telling you, it is all by design. What they're doing is they're putting them. They're putting the father out there heavily to try to force people to fully accept this, because guess what? It was black men who they needed to accept this behavior, to accept this lifestyle. And they're using D Wade to do it. But he's also using his son as a vessel and an opportunity for him to do it, to do their bidding. Like I said, I will not be surprised if D Wade gets honored at glad and gets some kind of award for courage or something like that. Because you, I have a feeling that that organization be giving out some of the most mediocre awards, like a lot of the stuff that they be giving out to people. It's like, OK, it's, it's almost like a participation prize. It really doesn't mean much. So basically. Instead of D. Wade being acknowledged for being dad of the year, for being a good father, he gets acknowledged because he accepts his son for now referring to himself as his daughter instead of his son and wanting to change his name. And another thing that gives me is the fact that you have this 12 year old boy who they are allowing to make these grown adult decisions. And he's 12. I keep going back to that point. And it's like when you tell people that it's almost like they look at you like you have more than one head. They look at you like you're a foreign inanimate object. And when you try to tell them, it's like talking to a brick wall. It gets not it gets it gets draining after a while. But it's like you have to keep you have to say something, because if you don't, then it's just going to fester over. That's why I keep saying that this is nothing more than an agenda. I keep telling people that that's what all of this is, is nothing more than an agenda. But people don't, you know, they, 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 it's like some people don't grasp it as fast as many people should. But it's literally in your face now. It's no longer covert. They are not in the in the mold where they're slowing, where they're kind of slowly treading in. They are in hyperdrive right now. It's blatant. It's in your face. If you don't get it by now, you never will. And I don't know if you ever will. And some people get it, but they choose to be naive and they want to act like they don't understand what is at play here. We know what is going on. I'm glad people are finally calling it out for what it is, but it's not enough. Like I said, if they want to live their life that way, go ahead and live your life that way. But don't force it onto us. And then when we say we don't accept the lifestyle or we don't agree with it, then, you know, hit us with the homophobic. Like as if that if saying that is going to make us feel better, feel bad. At one time it did. And that's why a lot of people were scared to speak up on it. But now it's like we know how to just deflect it. And even them saying that doesn't have its strong effect like it used to, because we figured out what that's all about. Phobia means to be scared of something. We're not scared of that group. However, what is kind of fearful is what D Wade is doing to his son and how that can trickle down to other people. Charlize Theron, my goodness, is another one. Got that little black boy dressing up in in, in the frozen costume and wearing that wig. 
and getting his hair done in micro braids and or whatever what kind of braids that was and wearing jumpers to school and then telling the, the biologically born um girl who was the boy's um sister that she can have as many husbands and boyfriends as she wants and stuff like it's a lot going on but do you see what's going on they're trying to feminize at this point not trying they are feminizing and emasculating little black boys and they are trying to masculinize little black girls it's all by design because that's what the dominant society is fearful of of us having the proper balance because only according to they only they can have the balance but as you can see them birth rates say another thing their balance their, their scale is a little off i guess you can say there's no balance there i don't think it ever was but people keep feeding into this monster they keep feeding the beast they keep feeding their children to the beast and don't care and then d way says something about she this is what his words she's our leader he said that he says she's our leader so i d wade i would like to know where is your son leading you exactly what do you mean when you say she's these are his words not mine your leader here you have d wade a grown man who is like i don't know what d wade's age is but it's closer to 40 then 35 here you have d wade this grown man who used to play basketball one of the best players to play in the nba got a lot of accolades and this is what his life has become reduced to and if you notice and look at a lot of those interviews have you noticed because i'm a good reader of body language have you noticed how flustered he looks like he looks like he's tired almost like he it's almost like he's being um, commanded by like it's almost like he's a puppet at this point and it's almost like he's trying to fight do they need to get that that um that uh that teacup from get out and clink the glass one good time to get him up out of that sunken place because i have a feeling that's where he's at right now well not the teacup because that will put him in a sunken place get the camera and, and, and flash it in his face and get him up out of there and y'all can't tell me the high priest is which that he's with did not help and influence what's going on with his son right now. And even him. It's even gotten to the point where now people are questioning D Wade's manhood. Because if you look at how D Wade acted before he got with the high priestess witch and after he got with her, something changed a lot. Look at the way that he's been dressing lately. Look at how this is his mannerisms and all of that. It was at one point when people was actually praising their relationship. But let me tell you something. I saw what was going on with the high priestess with after what she did with Nate Parker back in 2016 and realized what type of person she was. I guess that role she played in Deliver Us from Eva was really her. If you've seen that movie, you'll know what I'm talking about. And that movie came out in what, 2004? But yeah, this is all, this, it's a bunch of nonsense. And people get mad when you have an opinion like the one I have right now in this video and calling out the behavior for what it is. But I'm going to continue to call this out. I told myself last year, last summer, that I would not do as many videos about this Alphabet Academy as much as, you know, I try to not do it, but it's now so much in your face. It, you can't afford not to talk about it at this point. At this late in the game, you have to address it because if you don't, it's just going to spill over. It will not stop. And for some reason, it keeps going back to the T class, that T wing. Remember, I did my live stream. I said I might call them a wing. It goes back to that T wing of the Alphabet Academy. And like I said, to their deflectors out there, the ones who are not in the T class or maybe not in the Alphabet Academy, y'all need your head examined. Because I swear, some of the talking points I've seen in just today alone on this day, 
on February 18th, 2020. Some of the talking points that I've seen for people trying to defend this behavior sounds almost pedophilish. It sounds borderline pedophilish. Because when I see people literally uplifting this little boy who wants to refer to himself as a girl, I'm like, when you exploit something like that, I keep thinking that there are so many pedophiles and organizations like Nambla out there watching and waiting to prey on kids like this. And that is the part that gets me so riled up. When I think about this situation is how many predators, how many child predators out there are watching. And because this is D Wade, we're talking about he is prime real estate. He is out there because D Wade has a platform to put his kid out there on practically on an auction block on a pedestal. He's prime real estate. He's not some random child that you'll hear about. Maybe in one day he's gone tomorrow. He's putting him out there and you don't know what kind of people, what kind of freaks are out there that are waiting to do something. And then if he has access to the Internet or social media, who knows what type of apps he might be using, what kind of sites he may be on when D Wade and the high priestess, which he's with, are not around. We hear so many stories about children getting kidnapped, about children running off with these older people. And they get connected to through these apps, through these dating apps. It's scary. It really is. A lot of people do not take that into consideration and they should. But all they care about is representation. Oh, they're calling him a hero. They love to call black males heroes when they do something that would be seen as debaucherous um, in nature. Even if it's a little boy. They don't care that, you know, that it's a boy. They just care that it's a little black boy doing this. It's almost like they're grooming him to be Billy Porter Jr. I would not be surprised if they do some kind of PSA and they have them in it together. I wouldn't be surprised. You see what they're doing with Billy Porter right now. He's about to be on Sesame Street wearing that tuxedo gown from the Oscars. But it's just like. And and what I think what makes this even so upsetting is that sometimes when I speak on this, I feel like I'm alone talking about and I know I'm not the only one talking about it, but I feel like I'm the one. Or one of few in a very small few people that are pressing hard against this issue. Shout out to Jay Lethal because he's like the only other one I think of personally that's doing that's pushing just as hard as I am. Because a lot of people are scared to death to talk about the Alphabet Academy. You'll have some people that will tiptoe in their commentaries in order to not set something off. Me, I figured out the art of how to speak around it, but still get my point across. And notice in this video, not one time did I disrespect them. Not one time did I wish harm to any of them. But the mere fact that I can call out this behavior for what it is, they will label it as homophobic because I don't agree with what they're doing. Like I said, you can live your life however it is you want to. But when you start affecting children and you start exploiting children, then I have a problem with that. It reminds me of a couple years ago when they showed that clip of that pride parade where you had another little boy. out. Now, this was just some random boy out there wearing God knows what out there posing with his hand on his hip and his his backside just sticking out wearing underwear. In a crowd full of grown adults and they are out there cheering this on and taking pictures and recording videos. I'm like, who knows who knows where those images end up? Not every image that goes out on the Internet ends up on Instagram or Twitter or Facebook. And once it's out there on the Internet, it's out there forever. And the worst part and the worst part about this is that 
those images can end up in a few places. They can end up on child pornography sites. They can end up on regular pornography sites or even worse, the dark web. And I don't even want to imagine what is going on on the dark web or what is flowing through there. And the scary part about it is you might have pictures of Zion Wade on the dark web somewhere. Like, does anybody care about that? Like, I feel like no one cares or no one really is like grasping what it is I'm trying to, you know, convey here. But it's scary. It really is. Now, that's scary. If you want to talk about a phobia, that is scary thinking that his image or his pictures of him. And it could be completely innocent pictures at that. It doesn't have to be anything suggestive could be out there for consumption by these pervs and these freaks and these pedophiles. It's bad enough. They're continuing trying to lower the age of consent. So they can get closer and have access to these kids. I've said it as an example, and, I, and it's not to trigger anybody, but it's to make you think. Imagine you are walking down the street, just going about your day, and you're with your child, or it could be your niece, or it could be your nephew, or a female cousin, or a male cousin who's a minor, and you have some grown adult, man or woman, because it doesn't have to be just the men. It, the, we've we have seen the, how the women can get down too. look at all the stories that come out with them sleeping with their minor students and having threesomes and getting pregnant and all kinds of stuff and walking down the street and they walk up to you and said, hey, how are you? And then they just start talking sexually to your minor child and you end up hitting them or maybe pushing them into oncoming traffic. Then they get injured or worse. And you're the one hit with the charge. Because by law, they can do that. And if you touch them, that's assault. That's something to think about. But a lot of people don't think that far ahead. I said this was going on right now. They are setting up for something extremely sinister. And you have to be prepared for what is about to go down. But not enough people especially a lot of us in the community are prepared for it. Some of us are, but many are not because a lot of people prefer to leave their blinders on and those in the alphabet Academy, because they feel like it'll be some kind of infliction onto their existence. They'll never see it because many of them put their sexuality before this social construct anyway. They would probably rather they would. I'm not even going to go there, but y'all pretty much understand what I mean. But here's the other thing. There are people in the Alphabet Academy as well who don't agree with what D Wade is doing, because even they see what it is and what he's trying to do. It's like, D Wade, who are you doing this for? Are you doing this because you really care and love your son? Or are you doing this for attention and to get attention for yourself because you're trying to put yourself out there because without doing this, no one's going to really care what Dwayne Wade is doing. But you're D Wade. You were a you, you were a franchise player. It shouldn't be hard for you to get endorsements or get gigs. It's not like you were some no name NBA player that that name, Dwayne Wade, rings bells. You've played in the all star games. You played in the Olympics. You, you you you've won a championship. Two of them, I believe, two, maybe three. Like you don't have to go this extra mile to do whatever it is that you're doing. And it looks like you don't even want to do it, but it's like you're just doing it. But you're doing it also at the expense of your son. And that I cannot, I repeat, I cannot agree with. And that's what it all boils down to. I cannot get down with the exploitation of his child. And that was and that's what makes it even worse. This is his son. Not saying it would be any better if this was some kid that was not related to him, because that would be just as bad. But what makes it worse is that this is his son. This is the child he helped bring into the world. 
and he is aiding in the exploitation of his son who is 12 years old. He is six years out from being an adult and he's allowing his son to make these kinds of decisions. That's why I really didn't go in like maybe on Magic Johnson's son, EJ Johnson, because at the end of the day, he's a, he's a grown man. He can do whatever he wants. As wild as his, as his behavior is, he can do what he wants. He's grown. Willow and Jade Smith, we had our criticisms of them when they were minors. But, hey, they're grown now. They can do what they want. But Zion Wade, and I'm going to continue to refer to him as that. Zion Wade is 12 years old. He's not even a teenager yet. He's a preteen. He's 12 years old and you D Wade should not allow your son to be making those kinds of decisions. Bump that high priestess, witch, and whatever she got to say, that's not her son. That's her stepson. There's a difference. D Wade. And, and I didn't mean for the video to even go this long, but I was feeling it. And I got, I got in my feelings a little bit. D Wade. And I'm going to end the video after this. You have just proven to the world or shown the world that you are lackluster as a parent. I would hope to aspire. I would hope that any male and I say any male, this could be black, palm colored, Hispanic, Native American, Asian, whoever. It doesn't have to just be black at this point, but especially black, though, who is a male parent does not aspire to be a dad like you. To allow their child to do and go through with something like this at such a very, 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 very young age. And you allow it to happen in my honest opinion. And this is my very God honest opinion. Dwayne Wade, you have failed as a father. You have proven and shown that you are possibly one of the worst fathers on the planet. In more reasons than one. And I think I laid all of them out. In this video, I have nothing more left to say. If I never talk about this again, which something tells me that won't happen, I will have laid it out in this last half an hour commentary that was so unexpected. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this down in the comments. Like, share, subscribe. If you haven't done so already, follow me on Twitter. Have your notifications turned on and I will talk to you in the next one.